why the TikTok CEO bans his children from using the app. Xu Zichu served in Singapore's armed forces. He had a five-day survival course in the jungles. He worked at top companies like Facebook and DSD Global. Now he's the CEO of TikTok. In 2023, Chu testified before the U.S. Congress. The hearing stretched for more than five hours. TikTok has blown up in recent years. The app currently has 150 million American users. It's owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance. This has raised concerns about the app's ties to China. Legislators believe that TikTok may be leaking data to the Communist Party. Chu tried to set the record straight during the hearing. Let me state this unequivocally. ByteDance is not an agent of China or any other country. Chu compared TikTok to other social media platforms. He said that TikTok collects less data than its competitors. He promised that the app would never provide info to the CCP if asked. The CEO even cited his family life as a reason. Chu believes that data protection is especially important for kids. He has two young ones himself. He doesn't allow his eight and six year old children to use TikTok. His family lives in Singapore. There is no under 13 experience on the app. In the Singapore market, if they lived in the US, Chu said he would let them use TikTok. Shuzi Chu is a new face in the world of social media. In 2020, he was named on Fortune's 40 under 40 list. He was also listed as one of the world's top 100 young leaders. The Singaporean businessman is worth $200 million. He comes from humble beginnings. His father worked in construction and his mother in bookkeeping. At the age of 12, his life changed. Chu earned high marks on a national exam. This achievement earned him a spot at an elite school. While there, he became fluent in Mandarin. Then Chu went on to serve in the national service. During his service, he was placed on an officer track. It added 10 years to his eligibility for reserve duty. He faced many challenges during his time in the military. One of them was a five-day survival course in the jungles of Brunei. Chu had to build a hut, forage for food, and trek 55 miles. Trainees were also given a live quail. They had to kill it with their hands before skinning and cooking it. Chu didn't say what he did with his bird. His post-military career took him to London. He attended University College London. He later worked as a banker for Goldman Sachs. In 2010, Chu earned an MBA from Harvard Business School. He met his Taiwanese-American wife, Vivian Cao, at Harvard. He then landed a summer internship at Facebook. Afterward, he worked for DST Global. In 2012, Chu found himself at the heart of China's startup hub. He visited a small apartment in Beijing's university district with 30 other people. They were working on ByteDance Limited. The company would later go on to create TikTok. Chu likes to play golf and read books on theoretical physics. Aside from TikTok, he works at Xiaomi Corp. He's the company's international business president. His cross-cultural proficiency is what sets him apart from his colleagues. Do you trust TikTok?